Hi team. Well, this is the first of the, the video for your group uh, to get your home training in while we're all off the mats. This video is really good for keeping your body strong and, and healthy. Um, and it'll make you feel good after doing it as well. You can do it as much as you like. You can do it every morning, every night. You could also do it, uh, we've got a sequence of moves we're gonna do. You can repeat them for longer than the video goes for. So we're gonna do it three times over. You guys can do it 10 times over. Now, once you've uh, done the video, if you can or you know how or if someone can help you, uh, can you uh, comment on the YouTube video and maybe even put a photo of you doing the techniques? Comment on how many times you're doing it. Comment on um, maybe how many uh, cycles you did of the, the group. Whatever it is, can you please just keep active with the comments and the, the photos. You can post it on um, Instagram and just help us out. So I really wanna just keep our group uh, connected. And the only way to do that is through the social media at the moment. So that's, that's my big goal right now. Keep you moving, keep the team together. All right, we're gonna get started. Firstly, a bit of a warm up. So up on your feet. You can do this whole thing in your bedroom. You don't need much room. One little square mat would be fine. You don't need a mat, you can do it on the carpet, whatever you want. Or a yoga mat, if your parents have got one, grab that, it'll be good. So to start, we're just gonna want the body to start at the bottom. Start with the ankle. Big circles. It's time to breathe. It's time to focus. This is your time. Ignore anything else that's going on in the home. Okay? Get this done. This will make you feel great if you fully focus and do it. So we're doing the other ankle. Lift your leg. Rotate the knee. And switch sides. Uh, switch legs. Switch the rotation. This is a, it's a good coordination exercise as well. Now we're doing the hips. Just big circles. Big long breaths. You may feel a little silly doing this in your room if you haven't done it before. But believe me, I've done it many times, training in hotel rooms, training in my bedroom, training in the backyard, training in a park. Don't worry about it if you look or feel silly. Shoulders. You're the smartest one to be doing exercise. You have to. You have to. We all have to. Shoulders forward. You watch. You tell me how much better you feel after doing this. Switch your arms. Super important. If you can, get your parents to follow on. See how fit they are. Look over your shoulder. Other shoulder. And back. And back. Down. Up. And big circles. Something similar to this I used to do every day, every time before I competed. It warms up your joints. Get your body focused and ready. Okay. So now, we're gonna start the exercise. Firstly, we're gonna do five push-ups. You can either have your knees on the floor or you can do a, a full push-up off your feet. So, we're doing five. Count them out. And one, two. Keep your elbows tucked in. Three, opposed to out. Four, five. On your back. Leg raise time. Try and keep your head on the floor. Lower your legs down and come back up. One, good for guard players. Two, good for core strength. Three, four, stay focused now. Five, reward yourself with training. This is gonna make everyone feel better. Leg raises. Now, we're doing five squats. Have your hands whatever feels comfortable. Just try not to be all curved over. Try and keep your posture well. Four, one. Two, three, four, and five. So this is a thing called a switch out. This is a jujitsu jiu move, a jujitsu warm up. You're on your hands and on your feet like this. What you're gonna do is switch your hand, uh, your foot across to the opposite hand. So you switch through, lift your arm up, switch through. One, come back. Other side, switch through. Two, come back. We're gonna do 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
I feel that one. Now, one of the old favorites, sprawls. Make sure with the sprawls, arms straight, hips slow. And 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big breath. I focus now for plank. You can do this. You can do it on your knees or come up. Count to ten. One, two, three, four. This holding, this holding sort of strength, this static hold is really good for jiu-jitsu. Couple more seconds. You need static hold power. This is it, this sort of focus. Think about squeezing, holding on to someone. Okay, good. And up. Now when you're slightly fatigued, you need your balance. So that's what we're working on now. You can hold any way you like. One, I'm holding you for 10 seconds. I'm counting in my mind. Slowly lower the leg, switch sides. Okay, that's one round. I'm gonna do three in the video with you guys. If you guys wanna bring, bring it out to six or eight, whew, good luck, but here we go again. I'm gonna do the next two with you. Uh, first, five push-ups. Keep the elbows in. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. What was next? Leg raise. Switch on that lower core. Down. One, two, three, four. Next, squats. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Now the fun one, the switch out. We'll do a different angle for you guys. So over here, switch your leg through to the opposite hand. One, we're doing 10, and two, and three. And four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Now plank. The static hold, super important. If you want an extra challenge, do plank with straight arms. Focus. This is visualize time now. Visualize, you're in a match. You're holding someone, you're squeezing. Whatever it is, you don't show that you're tired. You keep breathing, you don't panic. Because we're all gonna do this. Your body can do it. It's whether your mind allows it. Okay, now it's time to concentrate. Even if you are puffing and panting, lift the leg. If you want an extra challenge, go out to the side. If you want a further challenge, grab the toes, go straight. And the hardest one, which I still have to work on, out to the side. And down, nice and controlled. Try not to fall, other side. Up. Challenge. 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 Try not to fall. Two rounds, one more for me. Let me know how many you get done. Let's do it. Five. One. And two. And three. And four. And five. Leg raises. 
the back. And one. And two. And three. And I'm sure by now you're starting to really enjoy it because your body's warm and you're fired up and ready to go. Squat. Uh, switch out. Ten. One. See if you can keep up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Half. Eight. And nine. Ten. Plank. Ah. Oh, whoops. Sprawls first. Same time. Do it from this one. Run the focus. If you want extra challenge, hands, or if you want extreme, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up. balance. I got a little sweat on now. That's what we needed. We all need. Calm. Nor anything is going on. Don't worry if someone's watching. They should be following on. If they've got time to watch, they should be training. Done. Switch. Now, we're going to do a little bit of mobility stuff as well. You can do a cross leg, or you can do it on your knees. Grab your belt. It's nice to always grab your belt when you haven't been training for a while. Just to have it around. You all work so hard for them. Arms up, so a bit of shoulder stuff first, forward and back. Forward and back. Try and sit up as straight as you can. This helps your posture as well. Side, side, and again you can do this as much as you like, can't overdo it. Now twist, 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 on your back, nearly there, We're nearly there guys. So as I said, we did that three rounds. You can do as many as you want. See how much you want to challenge yourself. If you are going to do the extra rounds, let us know. Let me know. Let me know who's out of my students who's training. Who's training the hardest. You just have to. You don't have a choice. You can't just, just lay about and, and just think sitting at home is the right thing to do. It's definitely not. What we're trying to do at the moment, by the way, is pull your feet apart. But don't force it. Don't, so you're shaking here. Uh, just do it so you just feel a little bit of what it stops. Just go a little bit further and just breathe. So as I say, please comment on um, all the YouTube stuff or and tag yourself, Instagram. Let us know what you're doing at home to keep active. That's the most important thing, to keep our mind in the game. You know, that's it's all we're gonna do and then when we we're allowed to back to training and it's all safe. We're back, ready to fire up and go. You're trying to pull your knees to your shoulders. There's no space between your feet, uh, your, your legs and your chest. Um, I'll be posting more videos, so uh, keep an eye on the, the YouTube channel. Uh, keep healthy, keep safe everyone, keep moving. I'll see you soon.